it was one of the deadliest pandemics in history. The Spanish flu swept the globe, killing tens of millions of people. 100 years later, researchers say the world isn't immune to another catastrophic super flu. There have been three influenza pandemics since 1918, taking place in 1957, 1968, and the latest in 2009. People say it is not uh, if, but when, and I think that sort of, I think, uh, sum, sums it up very well. Peter Palacy was part of a team that reconstructed the 1918 influenza virus. Palacy says there still is no way to accurately predict which of today's flu virus strain could trigger another pandemic or how bad it could be. This was an influenza virus, which was really uh, very different from earlier strains and also from strains which we have right now. But labs across the country, like this one at the National Institutes of Health, may finally be closing in on a universal flu vaccine. A vaccine that is going to protect you against essentially all or most strains of influenza. Flu virus is coated in a protein that constantly changes to evade the immune system, the reason you need a new vaccine every year. That protein essentially has a head and a stem. Today's vaccines target the head, where most of the mutations occur. Within the last 10 years, scientists discovered the stem stays relatively unchanged from year to year, which is why the focus of the universal flu vaccine now targets the stem. If everything works out well, we should be having a universal influenza virus vaccine within years, not decades or a century. Researchers hope that will mean eventually getting a one-time shot instead of a yearly one. Today's annual flu shot is at best only 60% effective, and it's tough to make. Most manufacturers use traditional production methods, like growing the virus in chicken egg yolk. Just got to get away from the necessity of growing the virus. That's the thing that takes so many months to get to where we need to be. While researchers know the current seasonal flu vaccine isn't perfect, they say it serves as a safety net. Not everyone may be protected 100%, but it is certainly better than no safety belts. The ultimate preparation is a universal flu vaccine, something that you could stockpile and you don't have to be chasing a pandemic. While the events of 100 years ago seem like a part of the distant past, it's at the forefront for those working to guard the public from a future pandemic. Kathy Young, Associated Press.